in this how to we are going to learn how to work with the nested grid view so first let us understand what is nested grid view a nested grid view means a grid view is kept inside another grid view and this can this is uh, similar to other, uh, other control as well for example uh, a repeater control can be kept un under the another repeater control this is generally useful when you want to show the hierarchy of the records for example you have uh, you have personal detail and under that personal detail you want to uh, show many files related with uh, with 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 every person so i'm just going to show that example here in this case we will have uh, the, uh, the the parent record as the personal detail uh, table record here you can see the parent record will be this personal detail table record and the child record will be the record from the files table so for example uh, let's take an example here here for 7 7 is personal I detail id 7 is palo so for palo i want to show three records okay so that's what i'm going to show uh, so uh, let me copy paste this grid view in order to show this demonstration so here is my grid view as you can see now let me uh, 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 explain you what is this grid view this grid view uh, contains yeah first is auto generated a column equal to false because i don't want uh, my columns of the grid view to be generated automatically and the rest other properties are related with the CSS the one very important uh, in, uh, uh, event that we have written here is on row data bound method uh, event in on, on row data bound event what we have done is that we have executed a find the grid and bound server side method and in this method itself we will try to find out the grid that is inside the template field so here you can see that in, in in this grid we have kept one column and in that column we uh, the, the column name is personal detail and in that personal detail we have kept some uh, field of the personal detail uh, table and uh, i am I'm, I'm trying to write the files related with that particular record so in order to uh, bring the files related with that particular record i have kept one grid view inside uh, inside this template field and that grid view name is grid view nested and this grid view has nothing it is very simple just enable view to equal to uh, false and i have written some back color and then width equal to 100 percent that's it now let me uh, copy the code behind uh, a code so here is my code behind you yeah, as you can see uh, let me first copy paste and then I will explain all this code so yes and one more so here now let me see if there is any error here yes okay looks like we are done so let me just frame it so that it looks good and then we have this one okay so now let me explain this code the first line is naturally a page level variable where we are retrieving the web.config file database connection string and then under the page load event we are checking if the request is coming for the first time then naturally it will be if not is post back then we are calling the get data method in the get data method we are instantiating the data table we are instantiating the database connect database connection that is a SQL connection object and then what we have done is that we are retrieving the personal detail record from the database and then uh, instantiating the SQL command using the SQL statement and database connecting instantiate the SQL adapter and then filling the, uh, the records into the data table and then specifying the parent grid view source means grid view 1 source to the data table and then we are calling the data bind method now what will happen is that as soon as the data bind method will start acting then this on row data bound will fire up for every record for every row of the grid view this on row data bound will fire and in this row uh, on row data bound event we are executing find the grid and bound method so here is the find the grid and the bound method in this what we are doing is that we are checking if the current row type is not of a data row 
means if it is either header or footer then simply ignore it I mean do not do anything just return it and if it is not means if it is the actual data row then what you do is that go to that particular row and try to find out the grid view means I am trying to find out this grid view that I have kept inside this template field so grid view nested I am finding the grid view nested and unboxing it with the grid view variable and then what we are doing is that we are retrieving the personal detail ID and this personal detail ID is nothing but the auto ID okay and I am retrieving it using the grid view one dot data keys of e dot index dot value dot twisting and then uh, passing it to the integer variable and then again what I am doing now because I have to retrieve the files information that will be populated to the grid view inside the template field so naturally I will have to use the edu dot net here in real time scenario you can use the business access layer method or maybe service layer method or etc so what we are doing is that we are again calling the SQL statement uh, and in this SQL statement we are getting the records from the files where personal detail ID is equal to personal detail ID means the auto ID of that particular row and we are uh, populating into the data table and ultimately we are setting as the data source of the nested grid view that we have found for that particular row to the table and then we are calling the data bind method now in this way what will happen is that for every record for every row of the grid view this on a row data bound method will fire and it will check if there is any files related with that particular person or not if it is then what will happen is that those file information will be retrieved and it will be bound to the grid view inside the template field and I'm going to run this page now and here is my page and now you can see that for John there is no record into the files table you can see here let me just show this to you uh, let me do it one by one in the complete screen you can see that we have Michael where auto ID is 5 and we have Paolo where auto ID is 7 so on the files table we have only 5 and 7 personal detail ID 5 and 7 so that's why you can see that for 7 there is th 3 records you can see this for 7 there is 3 records so that's why for 7 auto id that Paolo Mexico 3 records are coming and for the record id 5 the personal detail id 5 only 2 records are there so that's why you can see that only 2 records are coming and 5 is nothing but Michael Schumacher you can see this 5 is Michael Schumacher and 7 is Paolo Mexico so for these two uh, only files records are there that's why only for these two records file records are coming and for rest of them there is no record into the files table so naturally nothing is coming so this is the uh, way to basically work with the nested grid view uh, now similarly you can work with the nested uh, repeater control nested data list control or nested uh, list view control the the, the the approach of working with all other nested uh, controls are similar you have to just uh, uh, catch the on road data bound event and in that execute a server side method in that method try to find out the, uh, the grid view or repeater or whatever control you have and then accordingly retrieve the, the data from the data source and simply populate it